Good morning. This is WSLS 10, Virginia Today. You don't get to take a lunch. You don't get to go to the bathroom. You know, you're somebody's in crisis and you have to answer those phones. Helping those in need, the story of a 911 dispatcher who was hard at work while her own home was underwater. Plus a change that's the first of its kind in more than three decades for the Miss Teen USA pageant. What will be missing and the reason for it? Good morning and thanks for starting your day with us here on Virginia Today on WSLS 10. I'm Patrick McKee. And I'm Erin Brookshire. Jenna Zipton has the morning off. Now, a chance for showers in the day had changed from yesterday's beautiful weather. It was good for getting some outdoor chores uh -huh. done yesterday. Now we can uh, get some water on the plants again. Exactly. And give you, uh, or give it over to Christina now in the Weather Center with an update to see who sees the best chance for some rain. Christina, good morning and happy Thursday to you. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Starting out dry. Best chance to see those stronger thunderstorms, mainly the south side, Lynchburg area, but all of us have a shot at a couple of those pop-up thunderstorms this afternoon. Starting out partly cloudy. Temperatures in the middle 60s, low 80s by noon with more clouds rolling in. Lower 80s for highs. A couple of us pop into those mid 80s, but with the th showers and thunder showers developing, temperatures are going to pretty much stop rising out after the noon hour. We are starting out dry, but those showers and thunder showers are developing just off the coast. That is where we have a little area of low pressure developing. That is going to be our storm maker for this afternoon. Coming up at 640, I'll break our forecast down hour by hour. I'll have your seven day outlook, then we share the picture of the day. Checking in with our time saver traffic system. Here are some of your drive times into the Roanoke area this morning. North on 81 from Christiansburg, 23 minutes. South on 81 from Lexington, 40 Three minutes and down 460 west out of Lynchburg, 51 minutes. Aaron? Thank you, Christina. The recovery process continues this morning as we mark the one week anniversary of the devastating floods in West Virginia. Lawmakers will travel to some of the hardest hit areas today to assist those victims. On Wednesday, the governor expanded the number of counties eligible for federal disaster aid, which will help more victims get back on their feet. Meanwhile, volunteers from near and far continue to offer their support. It's phenomenal. Just there is there are no words. You can't you can't say thank you enough for something like that. You just can't. The floods that hit both West Virginia and Allegheny County affected hundreds of people, including rescue workers trying to help others fight through it. Now, this includes a Covington 911 dispatcher who continued to help others as floodwaters destroyed her own home. WSLS 10's Rob Manch has her story. 911 dispatcher Diana Patterson was answering distress call after distress call last Thursday night, only to find out that her own home here on West Fudge Street was also underwater. But instead of panicking, she came, grabbed her things, and went back to work. Diana Patterson walks through her house Wednesday, her floors and everything that was sitting on them destroyed by the waters of the Jackson River nearby. When she got the call that her own house was flooding, she left to save her medication and her dog, but was quickly back answering phones. We have multiple 911 lines, we have multiple admin lines, and every every person in that room was answering call after call after call after call. I was I was more worried about our first responders. I wasn't so much worried about my house. Patterson says it'll be a long time to get back to normal, but she feels blessed all the same. Patterson says she does have flood insurance, so in time, she'll be able to repair her floors and carpets. But at this point, she says she's just praying for those here in town and in West Virginia who have it so much worse than she does. In Covington, Rob Manch, WSLS 10. Happening today, trucks filled with bottled water and other supplies will head to West Virginia. The donations are being delivered by God's Pit Crew. Since Friday, God's Pit Crew sent eight truckloads to the affected areas. Also helping is PetSmart and Angels of Assisi in Roanoke. They've collected nearly $500 in goods. Our passion here at, at, at PetSmart is, is the pets. Uh, so we're going to deliver blankets, we're going to deliver food, we're going to deliver towels, we're going to deliver anything that can help out with the pets, whether they're our customer or not. Kelly Dalton and Associates working to help flood victims as well. The real estate company accepting donations now through Friday from 8 to 6. You can donate cases of bottled water, bottles of bleach or money in their GoFundMe account. All donations can be dropped off at the company's location on Electric Road. 
The legal process moves forward for suspended Virginia Tech football players Adonis Alexander and host Sean Gaines. Both players received 12 months probation and will be required to complete 24 hours of community service after being charged with marijuana possession back in April. The two players remain on indefinite suspension from the football team. The pair have also received probation from Virginia Tech's Student Conduct Committee. Many people in Halifax County excited to move forward with renovations to the county courthouse, but some say they still have their doubts. Supervisors have spent the better part of four years negotiating the terms of the renovations. This after a judge filed a lawsuit against the county to force them to make repairs. They've now approved a consent order outlining exactly what will be done, but some worry that these renovations will be like the last round of renovations that the county made. New this morning, the Miss Teen USA pageant is making some changes to its competition. The Miss Universe organization announced on Wednesday that the pageant will replace the swimsuit portion with an athletic wear competition. Organizers say they hope the decision will show their support for feminism and equality. The Miss Teen USA pageant will take place July 30th in Las Vegas. A new study shows people who visit parks for 30 minutes or more each week are less likely to have high blood pressure or poor mental health. Researchers say that parks offer health benefits including reduced risk of heart disease, stress, anxiety, and depression. Time in a park is believed to reduce depression cases by 7% and high blood pressure by 9 The study also found that children become more environmentally aware by spending more time outside. It's a summer tradition for many of us. The Salem Fair is officially underway. Crews started construction over the weekend, and after days of putting it all together, the gates officially opened yesterday afternoon. Now, this is the largest free gate fair in the entire United States. It's an event that could bring as many as 350,000 people in the next week and a half that it's open. This year, there are nearly 40 rides, dozens of vendors, and even some new attractions, like a sea lion show and a one-armed juggler. Each year, the fair brings in between 100 to 150 local jobs and as much as $10 million to the Roanoke Valley. It brings a lot of people in. You generate a lot of tax revenue. You have admissions tax, you have meals tax, you have sales tax. Something that most people don't understand is that games pay sales tax because the, the state of Virginia rules that that's actually you're buying that big stuffed animal. So they have to have them assign a value to that and then pay sales tax on each one of them. Now there are 14 acres of carnival space on the Midway filled with those games, ride, and of course the food booths. The Degler family has been bringing in all of the rides since the fair started 29 years ago and they say Salem is a stop they look forward to each year. Well, my favorite things are when I'm going around town and I hear buzz about the fair and everyone's like, oh it's here, did you get your passes, did you get, so that's super fun for us. Now there are some different promotions each night to help save you money. Tonight a family of four pack of wristbands is just $50 until 6 p.m. A good deal and a lot of folks going to be heading out to the fair here for the next couple of days. I always go for the food. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. We always used to go and pick one night and we'd all just go get dinner there. Pick out something at the fair. The chicken on a stick, whatever, pizza. And they've apparently got like cheeseburgers between two Krispy Kreme donuts oh and gosh. fried this, that and everything else. The they do have cakes. some healthy options though this year too. So <laughs> That's if you're good. looking for that. The funnel cakes, not so healthy, but mm -hmm. the funnel cakes are always my favorite. Yeah. Ooh, Those are you? delicious. I love the um, donuts. They have these homemade donuts now that are so good. Going to the fair to get some junk food <laughs> as Christina takes over and gives us an update on this forecast. So as we go to pick out at the Salem Fair tonight, Christina.